My name is Arno Martinez. I'm uh, the chief executive uh, officer of uh, the helicopter company. The helicopter company is quite unique for helicopter industry. Usually the uh, helicopter operators are specialized in one or two scope of operation. We provide the full scope. Our biggest segment right now, the one where I'm really proud of, is to establish the medical services for the kingdom, uh, which is covering 30 helicopters and 25 bays across the kingdom to have 90% of the footprint. We will finish in the two years coming at 60, which is the size of the top 10, top 8 players who achieved that in 40, 50 years of legacy. On the type of aircraft that we are operating, all aircraft are new. We have a mixed fleet of OEMs with the Airbus helicopter and the Leonardo fleet. And every segment of operation, we are trying to use the, the best platform for the best mission. So the Saudi Red Crescent project, the national program as we call it, is to provide uh, and cover 90% of the kingdom of emergency medical services by helicopters. If you have any accident on the road, any accident on the uh, hiking, we should be able to be airborne within 15 minutes on call. Then we do uh, what we call the funny part, is the uh, sports entertainment, Formula One, Rally Dakar, uh, some uh, key Hollywood production movie. These sports events usually are broadcasted in uh, 100 countries, 150 countries. Rally Dakar is one of them. Formula One is one of them. So all these key events need the most beautiful uh, broadcasting. So we have the filming helicopters, needs emergency aircraft in standby, also the hospitality program to uh, bring the guests on such events. We developed the tourism in Alula in a couple of big cities like that. And number one, I would say, objective of THC when we have been created was to provide services for the Giga project. So we are embedded in the Neom and the Red Sea, Amala, on a few type of air logistic support. Sustainability has been, since day one, part of the Saudi vision as well. So we choose platform that uh, will be soon able to be uh, SAF compliant, 100%. They are ready with engines that will allow us to have a lower gas emission footprint, a flying greener with less noise, 